I'm Dr. Christina Hibbert, and welcome back to my three-minute therapy series on postpartum obsessive compulsive disorder. If you missed the first two videos on the symptoms and diagnosis of PPOCD, I hope you'll go check those out. Today, we're going to talk about the treatment of postpartum obsessive compulsive disorder. As we've discussed before, this is one of the most misunderstood and misdiagnosed disorders of all the postpartum and pregnancy mood and anxiety disorders. Because of this, it can be difficult for mothers and their families to reach out for help. And when they do, they're often met with the wrong kind of treatment or the wrong kind of reactions. And as we discussed in the last video, misdiagnosis even, that can lead to improper treatment. The best case scenario is that mothers get to providers who are trained and educated, who are experts, especially on the mental health of pregnant and postpartum women and who really understand and know about postpartum obsessive compulsive disorder, postpartum depression, and the variety of disorders that can occur in pregnancy and postpartum. Families who are seeking help first should look for that provider who really understands these disorders. And seeking help on postpartum.net, Postpartum Support International's website, is a wonderful place to look for resources in your area. Second, the kind of treatment is important. And the best case scenario for postpartum OCD seems to be, according to the research, a combination of therapy and medication. The medication helps to correct the misfiring of the brain that is causing these intensive, intrusive thoughts that the mother is having. And without the medication, it can take a long time for those thoughts to go away on their own. So the medication is an important element and hopefully providers can understand and provide the right medications for mothers. But always, again, if you're not getting the care you need, seek advice from another provider moms. Second, therapy. Therapy is a great addition to the medication because it teaches coping skills. I'm a psychologist and what I do is provide therapy and I teach moms and dads and the people I work with how to do things a different way. With postpartum obsessive compulsive disorder, it can be especially helpful to have somebody who really understands, who can say, you're not crazy, you're not psychotic, that you will be well and help you understand how to tackle those thoughts. Specifically, cognitive behavioral therapy is a great method for working with postpartum OCD. This involves learning to understand and manage your thoughts and change them and alter them. And I've done another video on thought management and how to use a thought record that you can check out on that. Another method that works really well is couples therapy or family therapy because this is so um, hard for mothers that it can be very hard on the couple and the family as well. So that's another method, as well as interpersonal therapy, which has been very researched for postpartum mood disorders. The other element that is very helpful in treatment is support. Support groups for pregnant and postpartum women are very helpful with postpartum obsessive compulsive disorder. I've run a support group for years and seen many postpartum OCD moms who find such relief in finding other women who've been through the same thing. Someone to say, yes, I know what you mean. I understand what you've been through. This can bring great relief to the mom who is suffering in silence to know that she is not alone. Now, the most important thing is to keep trying until you find the treatment that is right for you. This is just a little bit about treatment, but I hope you'll join me on my website for more resources and treatment options on postpartum depression and OCD at drchristinahibbert.com.